What it do, Silverbacks? It's your boy KG, and we're going to Mexico. Yes, sir, we're going to Mexico, and I'm taking y'all with me. Your boy just got off of work, and as y'all can see, we grinding on Black Ops 6, man. Your boy just pulled a 12-hour shift, and me and the boys hopped on Black Ops 6 to level up because... As y'all can see, it is double XP, double weapon XP weekend, man. Yes, sir. And they gave us Nuketown 24-7. So the leveling up is just going crazy. I've been grinding it out. I'm obviously at level 52. If I wanted to, I could grind out a couple games in Prestige already. But I don't know if I'm going to do that because clearly I've been leveling up my guns like crazy. I've been using the AK-74U. I got a drum on that thing, foregrip. This thing has been going crazy. Same thing with the C9. But the sniper is crazy in this game. I love it. I've been grinding out with the sniper, man. So I'm trying to see if I'm going to try to get gold and do all the camel grinds. But uh, yeah, man, I'm hella mad, bro. I'm hella mad because I'm going to Mexico for the weekend. So I'm going to miss out on the double XP weekend. I am hella mad, bro, because I would have been grinding on this prestige and leveling up and all of that. Still haven't even played the zombies yet. And bro, my boy hooked me up with 27 and 26 tokens, bro. Double XP and double weapon XP tokens. So luckily I have I'm stacked on those. So I'm gonna be able to level up a little bit even after this weekend. But I'm still bummed out because all of my boys, my cousins, my friends, everybody is gonna be grinding on the Black Ops 6 double XP weekend, especially with Nuketown 24-7. That's all I've been grinding on because it's so easy to level up on that map. I'm gonna be missing out on so much XP, but as y'all can see. I busted out some homework. I hopped on the game for a bit. I leveled up. I got money and I'm going to Mexico. And this time I'm for real, for real taking y'all with me, man. So I'm going to shower, shave, go to the airport and get ready, bro. So let's go. Contact a crew member for more information. I got both new seats. Or actually, I got... <laughs> the whole road. Hell yeah. Smoking is not allowed, including electronic cigarettes and vaporizers. Remain aware of any instructions from the crew. Big chilling, bro. So I'm gonna just be reading this book. I got a. Um, I went to Barnes and Nobles to get my my family member that's in jail. I went to go get him a book. And I got myself a book too. Check it out. Don't believe everything you think. Why your thinking is the beginning and ending of suffering. Fire ass book. I'll let y'all know how it goes. Yo, your boy just touched down to Mexico. I finally just got out the plane. I'm at the airport right now and shit. Bro, I've flown here 10 times this year and I have not seen this many people, bro. It was like stupid fucking packed, bro. Like hella heads here, but it's all right. We finally made it. I'm just waiting for my people to get here. I actually see them right now. And it's November, which is when they celebrate Dia de los Muertos. So they got like hella nice ass decorations and shit. Like I'll actually show you over here. But it's so fucking packed, bro. But check this out. They got nice little decorations right here. It's pretty sick for Dia de los Muertos. It's sick. But anyways, I see my people right now, so I'm gonna go say what's up to them and I'll catch y'all at the crib. Silver bags, ya llegué a mi tierra, ya llegué a Zapopan, Guadalajara. Aquí estoy con mi familia, and we're about to get some motherfucking menudo because that's the first thing I'm gonna do. With the, uh, I'm a big bag, man. First thing I'm doing when I touch down, I'm either getting some tacos, some molletes, tortas hogadas, or some fucking menudo. And right now, we are getting some menudo, freshly made warm menudos with homemade, handmade tortillas. Like, it doesn't get any better than that, Silverbacks, you know what I mean? Like, I'm literally looking at her whip it up. Look at this. She is whipping it up. Like I said, bro, this is the most amount of people that I have seen at the airport, bro. It was so packed, so many people. All of the soldiers, the Mexican soldiers were having me take off my hat, take off my hoodie. They were double checking my shit. I was like, man, just let me through, bro. I've been through, I've been doing this, bro. Like I've been doing this before you was even working here, big dog. You know what I mean? You hear that?
the birds are chirping the church bell is ringing man it's so fresh out here such a nice lovely day bro i'm so, i love mexico as soon as i touch down mexico bro all of the stress of my job my school my side hustle my hobbies my competition my grind mode it all goes out the window <laughs> even my diet <laughs> clearly and fucking uh yeah man like when i go when i come to mexico i just relax i recover i reset i rewind you know i love coming to mexico especially with my beautiful family here they always treat me good they know i'm a big bag they eat they always make my favorite food they're gonna buy my favorite food and then uh yeah bro so that's the plan i'm gonna i'm gonna eat with my family then after that i'm probably gonna knock out i'm gonna try to take like a three hour nap and then from there i'm gonna see my cousins drink some beer you know what i mean get ready so let's do it y'all know what it is even though i'm jet lagged and sleep deprived i still gotta get my circadian rhythm gotta get my 15 minutes of sunlight Look how, look how nice and peaceful it is here. Good morning, Mexico. Now I'm about to go in there and eat me some menudo. Let's go. Your boy got his four hour nap in, very much needed. I was very jet lagged, very sleep deprived from my shift. Man, I was tired, bro. So I filled my tummy up with some menudo, took a nice ass nap. I don't even know where everybody went. I think everybody just left. But I'm gonna go meet up with my cousin, get some beer and uh, see what the move is. Let's do it. a terrible angle bruh we're at a restaurant right now all you can eat buffet i'm fucking full oh wow que padre One of the best things about Mexico is the agriculture. Look at this. The agriculture, the architecture, my fault. Look at this shit, man. Look at that architecture. Beautiful. This is nice. Beautiful architecture. Look at this amazing architecture, man. You got the fountains. This amazing cathedral. Look at this. The most beautiful architecture in the country. People come to Mexico just to look at the architecture. It's just amazing. Look at the culture here, bro. Peaceful, everyone's eating, vibing, good music, good people. A hundred thousand pretty ladies. We have entered the cathedral church. It is huge in here.
Mexico is so beautiful, bro. Especially right now, the culture that we have con los días de las muertes and how we just praise and, you know, just show and still love all of the people that are not with us no longer. Because death is just the beginning of another life. Amo mi culturar con todo mi corazón. I love this culture, man. Look at this beautiful scenery. Architecture, amazing architecture, water fountains. Green, trees, open, peaceful, fresh, tranquil. I love my country. Dancers, all the dancers meet up over here and they start practicing and shit for their videos. It's pretty sick. It's like a GTA lobby in here. Now I better go get some food. Food, drink. In there for real, yeah, look at that. <laughs> hey, I'm in a big ass hat store right now. Check it out. Hella hats, bro. I just bought I just bought some Nike hats too, bro. But look, the shop is right here. That's tight. Fresh hats. Big old hat game. Let's see what we're gonna get. Let me see. Look at this car, bro. It's a China car. There's hella fucking Chinese brand cars over here that you never even see in the States. Like hella Chinese cars, brands I've never even seen. here we're gonna go to my cousin's business she owns a pizzeria and uh, we're gonna go say what's up to her because she employed my other cousin so I'm gonna go surprise them because they wanted me to bring them some shoes so we're gonna go over there we're gonna go munch we're gonna drink we're gonna say what's up let's go I'm gonna take y'all with me check it out Aquí andamos en el negocio de mi prima con el primo Rick Ross. Ya saben el pinche good guy Chris. Se recuerdan mi compita. Cheers, man. Ah, toma un shot. Mm. Yes. Así es la cosa. Okay, y'all can see we had a little bit too much to drink at the establishment and <laughs> it got lit anyways i'm gonna brush my teeth get them ready for my dentist and i'm gonna see y'all over there so let's just get this ball rolling let's go
right, so your boy got his braces fixed. I was gonna try to record some of the process. You know what, let me just get this shit out the way. You know, I don't wanna be weird. I don't wanna invade privacy. But, and also like, you know, I just don't wanna do that shit. But bro, look at what I got. Nah. Nah. I got fucking rubber bands on. The one thing that I didn't want, bro, this is so uncomfortable. I feel like I'm gonna rip them when I take a bite of food. But I have to take them off for when I eat and shit, but this ain't it. I used to gas on people with these on. <laughs> now look at me. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I kinda fuck with them. I, I always wanted braces and I always wanted a cast. Like as a kid, I was just weird. I wanted a broken arm cast so I could have people sign it. I wanted glasses, I wanted braces. So I finally got them, but god damn. So once my braces and teeth are fixed and straight, they're gonna give me two canine implants because I still have my baby canines. And they're gonna give me two big canine implants because I had a gap right here. And so now that they're closed, they're gonna give me two canines and I'm straight. But yeah, anyways, let's go. All right, y'all, so we chilling. I'm at my grandma's crib. So now I'm about to just chill with my granny, talk to her, connect with her, you know what I mean? That's my granny. I love my granny. I love her so much. I miss her. So I'm just going to kick it with my granny for the rest of the day. Wait for my cousins to get here. From there, we're going to go to the airport. I only came for one day for my braces. I've been coming only for like one, two days because I got class. I got work. I got homework. I got a lot of shit to do. So, you know. Ay, como que ya me dio hambre con el olor de comida. La comida famosa de mi abuela. Aprovechar. Sí, a ver si me llevo en la mochila. <risa> sí, lo bueno, como que no traí maleta esta vez, pues no me pidieron nada de queso bolillo esta vez, porque pues no, no puedo llevar. Pues en tu mochila no. Eh, pero para el otro quiero venir con, con maleta para traer regalos y para llevarme unas cosas. Para llevarme. Sí. Todo lo que les gusta ya. Sí. So many pretty faces out here, man. God damn. Y'all know about this. Y'all ain't never seen no foreign bands like this, though. Foreign. If it ain't foreign, it's boring. Yo, I want to hit y'all with this quick little message, bro, because I know for us young people, we feel like we have all the time in the world. We can do whatever we want with whatever. But listen, man, when you're an old soul like me and you know how fast time goes by and you know that how multiple lives we have, bro, like, listen, if you have your grandma, if you have your parents, if you have a loved one, your guardian, whoever took care of you, your uncle, your auntie, man, love them, appreciate them, get to know them, connect with them, bro, because listen, I am such an old soul and I could break down in tears right now just knowing that my granny ain't gonna be here. Even though she's right here with me, even though I've seen her every month of this year, I still just know the, the, the tangibility of time. And even though she's right here in front of me, we're talking, we're laughing, we're connecting, I just get so sad, bro, because I just, my head is just so much in the future. So man, if you have your granny, your grandpa, man, go love them, go hug them, go kiss them, go spoil them, go take them out to eat. You know what I mean? Go show them love, man, because they ain't gonna be here forever, bro. And when I think about that shit, that shit just ain't fair. But I also love my culture, Los Dias de los Muertos. You know, death is not the end. Death is only the beginning. But go show love, man. All right, y'all, so I'm at the TSA now. About to slide through, tap in when I'm through. Y'all think flying every month is cool, bro? Check this out. It is so packed, bro. It's hella packed in here. All right, I finally made it through TSA. That was a bitch, bro. Like I said, I have never seen it that fucking packed at the airport, bro. And I feel so bad for some guy in front of me because like, I guess they held him up for a long ass time. As soon as we got to TSA at the very last minute, the machine stopped working. So we had to go all the way back in line. This nigga was hella hot. He's like, really? And then fuck it. Once, <laughs> once we get to the TSA the scanner again, this nigga forgot his phone in his back pocket, so they made him fucking go do it all over again. But anyways, peep it. We fucking made it, so now I'm gonna go check my flight, go to my door. So let's go do that.
It's never been this packed. Like I said, I've been coming here every month of this year. This is the most packed, which is kind of typical because more people tend to fly during the holidays. You know, Christmas is coming, Thanksgiving's coming and shit like that, New Year's. So it makes sense because the tickets, the flights, they get way more expensive as well. But you know, we made it through, bro. Check it. He's right here. This is my plane. Everybody else is getting off. So I got a whole ass hour to kill before they call my flight, man. I saw an old ass man. That nigga had like three tall ass beers, bro, at the bar. I'm like, man, should I go get tipsy too before my flight? You know what I mean? But I'm so sleep deprived, bro. Like, I'm tired as fuck. I already know I'm gonna pass out anyway, so I'm gonna just chill and edit a video while I just chill, you know what I mean? What do you do, gorillas, yo? So my fault. I know this vlog wasn't as poppin', wasn't as lit and exciting as I wanted it to. You know what I mean? Normally we be doing crazy shit. Normally my cousins they take me out to the nightclubs, vamos a las tianguis, vamos al centro, vamos al mall. They take me out to big fancy restaurants, you know. And I just haven't vlogged it. I got like content about it on reels, but I never vlogged it. You know what I mean? And here's the thing, right? Because I only went for one day. I've only been going for like one or two days for my uh, teeth. And uh, you know, like I said, my cousins they are both business owners. You know, my cousin she has her own pizzeria. That she manages and has to take care of her brother my other cousin good guy chris you know he has two iphone stores two businesses two locations so big boss you know good guy chris is a big boss rick ross man and so here's the thing you know what i mean when you have a normal nine to five you clock in you clock out you do whatever you want after work but when you have your own business your own thing you are your own boss. You know, obviously you gotta worry about payroll, you gotta worry about employees, you gotta worry about products, you gotta make sure your shit's stock, you gotta make sure your stores are okay. You know what I mean? You're always working, you know? So that's why we didn't really do much because, you know, obviously they have their businesses to, to take care of. They got a whole lot of shit. They got their own thing going on. On top of that, I touched down on Monday. So it's like, you know, what are we gonna do on a Monday? You know what I mean? So it was just a nice, little casual vlog you know what i mean nothing crazy but we do got a lot of shit planned 2025 we're gonna go to cancun chichen itzu to go check out the aztec pyramids whole lot of shit we got planned going on we got a lot of trips you know even next year i'm planning on going to japan with my gorilla squad so whole lot of shit coming y'all but you know it was a casual vlog just to show you guys what mexico is like you know what i mean me, me encanta mexico i'm gonna go again i'm supposed to go again on december next month and then hopefully by next month they're gonna they're supposed to take my dentist carla is supposed to take off my braces and then i'm supposed to go see the other doctor that's supposed to give me my two canines and then hopefully by then my i should have a million dollar smile but we shall see we shall see but anyways appreciate y'all if you guys stay to the end of the video man you a real one much love hope all is well with my gorilla and i'll see y'all right now i'm uh, currently doing some school cool shit then i'm gonna edit a video and uh push out my set man let's go let's go after it gorillas let's get it get jack get money baby let's go